Um, hello, so continuing on this weekly contest 323, uh, the first problem, delete the greatest value in each row. So what this problem says is we have an n by n grid um, that has positive integers, and we want to perform uh, these operations um, until we have the grid becomes empty, basically, um, until we uh, it's empty. Um, and the answer we want to return is the answer based on these two operations. So what are these operations? So we want to delete the element with the greatest value from each row. So we want to delete the max of each row each time. And if multiple exists, so if there are mu the max is duplicates, a set of duplicate values, we want to take any of them, right? And once we take that, we want to add it with our answer. So basically each time take the max from each row and add it to our answer. And that's pretty much it. So for example here, the max from this one is four, the max from this one is one of these three. You can take this one or this one, it doesn't matter. So we'll end up with first seven, right? Uh, sorry, um, the one thing I didn't mention correctly here is this. Once we take the max from each row, we take the max among those maxes, max values, and that's the one we add to our answer, okay? So for example, here, the first operation, the max from each row are four and three. What is the max of these two? It's four, so it's four that we add to our answer. Now we'd go here, the max from each row, two and three, which one is greater? Three is the max, so we add three here. Um, now we go here, these only these two values, the max, one, and so we add one here. So we end up with four plus three plus one, so eight. So that's the, the idea here. Um, so how, how can we do this? Well, it should be pretty straightforward. So the, the elements can be up to 50, which is not too big. So we can just sort each row and each time take um, the max of each, uh, of each column, right? Um, right? Because if we sort, so if we sort the rows, then we will get something like, um, one, two, four, one, three, three, right? So we can just take the max from each column and that would be like deleting the max each time, right? So the max here is one, the max here is three, the max here is four, and just add these together and the sum would be eight. That's our answer, right? Because each time we grab the max. So the first time we'll grab the last row. The second time we'll grab the one before the last one. and we will keep going until the last time we will grab the first, uh, sorry, the first column, that's what I meant. So the, the first time we'll grab the last column because that's the one that has the max for each row. The second time we'll pick the one before that, the column before that, and we'll keep going until the first column. So we might as well just do that process instead of picking each one and deleting it. Um, so that's the idea here. Um, now let's just implement it. So first we need to solve the rows. Um, so we can just first get the size of each number of rows and number of columns. Um, and then we want to get the our answer, or let's call it result, and then we want to go through the rows. So in the range of rows, we want to just sort it. Sort. Um, and now we can just go through every column, so in range of column, and just like we did here, take the max of every column. So do that we'll just do like this take the max of every column so it's just of grid i j for i in each row that will give us the max of column j um, so this would be a max of column j and now we just need to add that value right because that's what the problem asks us to do is to take the max each time and so we just return that result um, and just let's simplify this and just do it here instead and let's run this, let's submit, and that passes test case. So pretty straightforward solution. In terms of time, we are doing here um, of um, rows, but each time we are sorting a row, um, so each time it's uh, columns, log columns, right? Um, and then here, just of, of um, this overall is of columns and then multiplied by getting the max of each um, of each um, column yeah so this would be yeah 
ton of square, right? Um, so likely this one is bigger, so we can just say this is the time complexity space. We are now using an extra space. Um, yeah, so I think that's pretty much it for this problem. Please like and subscribe and see you on the next one. Bye.